in a massive respite and relief to the private companies and establishments. The Supreme Court has passed an order on 12th June in a batch of writ petitions where it has extended and continued its earlier order directing that no coercive action can be taken against employers who uh, you know fail to pay full wages to employees during the the, the lockdown uh, that was uh, implemented to control the the spread of covid-19 so there will not be any coercive action for non payment of wages during the lockdown period the supreme court has proposed for negotiations that's important for negotiations between the establishments and workers uh, with regard to the full payment of wages notwithstanding the direction issued by the ministry of home affairs earlier let me share more details with you uh, on the other side of the break about what the supreme court said about negotiations between the establishments and the workers and and laborers please subscribe to this youtube channel mentor talk and do press bell button for notifications the ministry of home affairs on march 29th had issued a directive that all the employers be it in the industry or in the shops uh, and the commercial establishments shall make payment of wages of their workers at their workplaces on the due date without any deduction for the period their establishments are under closure during the lockdown the mha direction was in force for about 54 days before it was finally withdrawn with effect from 18th may the supreme court you know completely disregarded the mha order and observed that that it cannot be you know disputed that the lockdown measures enforced by the government of india under the uh, disaster management act 2005 had an equally adverse effect on the employers as well as on the employees various industries establishments were not allowed to function during the said period which is a matter of fact and those allowed to function also could not function to their capacity some of the industries and establishments you know are in a position and, and may bear the financial burden of payment of wages or uh, you know substantial wages during the lockdown period to its it, to its workers and 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 employees but some of them may not be able to bear the entire burden yes that's what the court said and felt a balance has to be struck between these two competing claims said the supreme court of india and rightfully so i i feel the supreme court of india concluded that it cannot be disputed that both industry and laborers need each other no industry or establishment can survive without employees laborers and vice versa hence efforts should be made according to the court uh, to to sort out the differences and disputes between the workers and the employers regarding payment of wages uh, of above 50 days and if any settlement or negotiation can be entered into between them i mean it would lead to restoration of congenial work atmosphere so it will be you know good for both the sides the court in the interim this is important has directed that the private establishments industries employers who are willing to enter into negotiation and settlement with the workers and employees regarding uh, you know payment of wages for 50 days or for for that matter any any period as the case may be may initiate the process of negotiation with their employees organizations and enter into a settlement with them and if they are unable to settle by themselves they may submit a request 
to the concerned labor authorities so where they themselves are unable to you know uh, uh, negotiate and, and reach a settlement uh, 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 they, they can actually refer it to the labor authorities if the settlement is arrived at that may be acted upon by the employers and workers irrespective of the order of the 29th march issued by the ministry of home affairs that cannot stand in the way of settlement uh, arrived at uh, through the negotiations the mha order that cannot stand in the way the court clarified that any settlement shall be without prejudice to the rights of the employers and employees which is pending adjudication in these uh, uh, batch writ petitions center and states and union territories uh, were directed by the court uh, to circulate their order through labor departments to to create awareness and to facilitate uh, settlement and yes yeah uh, the the court did ask the private establishments industries factories to permit the workers and employees to work in their establishments who are willing to work which which may be without prejudice you know to the rights of the workers employees regarding their unpaid wages of above 50 days so notwithstanding that settlement negotiation they the these workers can be permitted to work if they want to work let us hope better sense will prevail mediation negotiations and conciliation will resolve the bickering thank you